Wow, this is just hilarious. Two more cops, former cops actually, of Coffee City, has been indicted on charges for their misconduct that they committed before becoming co Coffee City officers and before the uh, police department got disbanded. 50 officers were fired for uh, the chief being corrupt. Then you had a, a uh, second cop getting uh, indicted. Then you had the mayor getting indicted. And now this is uh, two more people. This is just hilarious. And this just proves how uh, bad the corruption of cops are. And it's not just the department, but also the mayor is involved. A grand jury has indicted two more former officers of the disbanded Coffee City Police Department. Yeah, the latest charges are for alleged misconduct in Harris County before they were hired in Coffee City. Jeremy Rogowski has the latest development in his exclusive investigation. But this is just like all police. Anytime a cop um, gets fired from one department for use of excessive force for somebody or something, they just move to a different department. Here in Coffee City, the uh, ex-police chief uh, was falsifying records and allowing the worst of the worst cops to come to his department so that he can hire them and then they would just falsify some records to make it seem like they were not criminals. Investigators say this latest case highlights the problem of so-called wandering officers. Cops who get fired from one agency get hired by another only to get fired there and somehow get hired yet again. Yeah, if a cop gets fired for committing a crime, they should be immediately disbarred from joining any police department, joining firefighters, becoming doctors, or anything else. Uh, they should be forced to take the shittiest of shit jobs because these people are criminals, though in all, in all honesty, they should be in prison for the rest of their life. Indictments stem from a 20... 21 traffic stop in Northeast Harris County after a citizen complained that Precinct 3 Deputy Constable Cassandra Garcia coerced him into searching his car for drugs. The complaint was made to our Internal Affairs Division. It led to an investigation of the deputy and her conduct. Precinct 3 Chief Deputy Kirk Bonzel says that investigation revealed Deputy Garcia used her Harris County email account on several occasions to send sensitive law enforcement information to someone not allowed to see it. We have no idea why. We're, we're supposed to believe that cops don't commit crimes and they do good all the time. And because they're a cop, they're like a law-abiding person. But that's far from the case. Most cops commit lots of crimes, but they're able to get away with it because they're a cop. Why? Or for what law enforcement purpose this was sent outside of our agency. And who was on the other end, the receiving end? The other, the other end of that email was uh, an individual by the name of John Jocelyn. Who is John Jocelyn? He bounced around between 22 different police departments in his nearly 30 year law enforcement career. In 20 Wow, several different uh, police departments in a 33 year span. That is crazy. And somehow the other police departments weren't like, oh, you have a lot of misconduct against you. You can't be hired. But no, it's like, oh, you're a, you're a bad cop. We're going to hire you because cops love to hire bad cops. 21, the city of Plum Grove hired him to reinstate its inactive police department. But court documents show he did not have an active peace officer license at the time he got the emails from Deputy Garcia. Precinct 3. Yeah, again, cops aren't law-abiding people. They're some of the worst criminals you can imagine. And they become cops because they know they can get away with crimes and be protected. Fired Deputy Garcia and gave her a dishonorable discharge. But the very same day of her termination, John Joslin hired her on as an officer for the city of Plum Grove. But they're serving. Man, if a military member gets an honorable, 
uh, dishonorable discharge or honorable discharge, they're not allowed to come back to the military because they've been discharged. Uh, that should be happening with cops. If a cop gets fired from their police department for something, they shouldn't be allowed to go to another police department. Service in the small town didn't last long. About five months later, Garcia resigned when the Plum Grove mayor fired Joslyn for reasons including hiring without authority, failing to follow directives, and allowing Garcia to not return a city-owned patrol car. The next so all he did was violate the law and do stuff. Well, she did, I mean. All she did was violate the law and do stuff that she wasn't supposed to. Yet we're supposed to believe that cops always follow the law yeah it's a big big old lie next month both of the embattled cops got picked up as reserves for the coffee city police department the small town routinely hired officers with troubled pasts and after khu 11 investigates exposed the practice coffee city shut down the entire department it's very frustrating why is it that it it takes the investigation of a local news team in order to actually stop cops from being, well, stop bad cops from being cops. It is crazy how the justice system actually protects these bad cops. Chief Deputy Bonzel says hiring so-called wandering officers is a disservice to the community and the citizens an agency serves. When you get guys that are repeatedly fired from different agencies and they're still out there walking around wearing a badge, it's it's almost um, almost a disgrace in, in some cases. Well, it, it shows how people that are cops are above the law because if it was a regular citizen violating the law and a crime, they would be in prison and not just get a slap on the wrist like cops do and be allowed to be hired somewhere else. Like if a doctor murders a person, their patient or something, they don't get to become a doctor in a different hospital. They go to prison. And there's yet another twist to this story. Last month, the Plum Grove City Council voted to rehire John Joslin after he threatened to sue the city for wrongful termination. But with the indictment he's now facing, the City Council will discuss his employment at a council meeting Monday night. Jeremy, I wonder do. So bad cops can sue cities for quote-unquote wrongful termination for being a criminal and force the need to rehire them so that they can go back to brutalizing people. Do either of these officers have any comment about the charges? Yeah, Glenn, they're both facing felonies for fraudulent use of identifying information. Jocelyn's attorney told us he has no recollection of receiving the offensive reports and reason to have them, going on to say there is simply no evidence that John Jocelyn did anything wrong. Right. Somebody who's done something wrong is always going to say, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't have evidence of this, blah, blah, blah. Especially cops, because cops are the worst criminals that you can imagine. I mean, honestly, gang members are... It's better to be around gang members than it is cops, because at least if you're around a gang member and they do something against you, you can take some kind of recourse. If it's a cop, well, you're just going to get murdered by the cop, and they're going to be justified. We reached out to 